Good morning, class. Okay, do not this be the prayer. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Okay, good morning once again, class. Good morning, ma'am. Okay. Before you take your seat, please pick up pieces of papers under your desk and arrange your chairs as well. Arrange your things, your bags. Okay, once done, you now take your seat. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, before we start, I'm going to call your attendance. As I call your name, please raise your right hand and say present. Bakan. Riada. Present. Makasla. Present. Okay, very good. All of you are present today. Very good class. Keep that up. Before we start, I would like to ask Hazel, what did we discuss yesterday? Okay, very good. Yesterday, we discussed about the parts of the flower. Very good class. And today, we're going to move to our next topic. But before that, I'm going to play a video. And you need to listen and look carefully at the video. Would that be okay? Yes, teacher. Mga palaka, mga palaka, sila'y masasaya Maliki ang mata, maliit ang paa, magaling kong kumunta Koka, 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 ugali, galigag Koka, 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 ugali, galigag Mga palaka, mga palaka, sila'y masasaya Maliki ang mata, maliit ang paa, magaling kong kumunta Koka, 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 ugali, galinga Koka, 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 ugali, galinga Very good. It's all about the frog. Who have seen a frog here? Me, teacher. Very good. Frog can be seen anywhere. So, from that, what do you think is our topic today? About okay, frogs. Very good. Our topic for today is about the frog. The parts and function of the frog, the habitat of the frog, as well as the mode of reproduction of frog, and we are going to insert the life cycle of the frog. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Alright, class. We will tackle first the parts and function of a frog. Now, everybody look at this illustration. This illustrates the parts of a frog. Let's start with the mouth. So, this is the mouth. The mouth is used to catch prey. We have the nostril. The nostril is used like humans. It is used for breathing. We also have the eye. So, this is the eye of the frog. The eye is composed of standing colors where frog can see at a distance. They can see clearly at a distance. And when it is night, their sight is very active. Then we also have forearm or the arm. This is used in swimming as well as the webbed feet. And we also have the hand leg or the leg. This is used for jumping. So this part has its own function in order for a frog to be a frog. Understood? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, class, let's move to the habitat of frog. Okay. Where do you think frog lives? Yes, from grade 3? Well, yes, it lives in water. It's correct. Grade 4. Very good. It also lives in dry land. Grade 5. Very good. It lives in both land and in water. So as you can see in the picture, the frog is in the water. 
This is the place where we can commonly see frogs. Is it? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Right, class. Going further to our topic, we will be discussing the mode of reproduction of frogs. But how do frogs reproduce? So, frogs reproduce in a way same with other animals. Same with humans. Well, frogs reproduce or produce offspring through sperm cell and egg cell. When two cells met, that is the time that an offspring or another animal is produced. Now, let's talk about the life cycle of a frog. So, it begins with an egg. So, once the two cells met, then it becomes an embryo. Then, a tadpole, which has three stages. We have still a tadpole, but frog legs break through. In this stage, the frog or the tadpole has already its leg slowly growing. Then we have starts of pulmonary breathing, where a tadpole has already a breath. We also have, this is the tadpole frog, then the other frog. So this is how the life cycle of a frog goes on. Now, why do we need to study the frog or the life cycle, the parts, and the habitat of it? Okay, from grade 5. Yes, very good. We need to study since okay, they are around us. And when we are aware of their existence, we should also be aware of the process, how they reproduce, and their parts as well. Because they are also living things. Understood? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Now, I have here strips of words which contains the steps in life cycle of a frog and i also have here pictures and i'm going to distribute it to per, per your per your level and you are going to follow the instruction for grade three you're going to label the parts what is ask and for grade four I will be giving you pictures and you are going to identify if where these animals reside or live. And for grade 5, you are going to arrange these steps. Okay, I will give you 5 minutes. Okay, done everybody? Okay, very good. This time class, I want you to get a clean sheet of paper, grade 3, grade 4, and grade 5. Please get one. And you are going to answer for grade 3. Answer this. Parts of a frog supply the box and identify what is being asked. Then we also have for grade 5. Connect the picture to its label. This is the life cycle of a frog. Understood? And for grade 4, please get your science notebook and flip it to page 15. Please answer activity number 2. Okay, I will give you 20 minutes only and we're going to check. Okay, done? Okay, very good. Let's check. Okay, very good class. All of you got passing score. No one failed. So it means that you really understood our topic for today. For your assignment, please look into your science notebook. Grade 3, flip to page 13, answer activity number 1. Grade 4, page 20, activity number 2. Yes, activity number 2. And grade 5, page 25 of your book, activity number 1 as well. Okay, did you understand our topic for today, class? Okay, very good. That would be all for today. See you around and God bless you. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, ma'am.